in uh, BMW 235i, the Cup 5 uh, class, uh, one of the most competitive classes on the range. I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth sunk stuck into one of these cars and the class as well. Um, yeah, let's jump in the garage and go have a quick look at the car. This is obviously not my car, however, looking at the car, uh, this is the M6 GT3, awesome, incredible piece of kit. I mean, the engine is just ridiculously low in the car and uh, so far back as well. Uh, all of this is just rad and cooling system. The engine is literally underneath the driver's bum almost. However, onto the more important subject. My ride for the weekend which looks fantastic in the matte BMW M Sport colours. Very similar to the uh, M4 that I drove at Century Motorsports back in uh, March, I think it was, for the British GT Media Day. Uh, so yeah, this is the car that we for the weekend. Uh, I just need four more laps to complete my permit A, uh, of which then I can drive one of these bad boys uh, and anything else on the ring a little bit later on in the year. So um, that's what objective one is uh, this weekend to complete four laps and finish in the top 75 percent of the uh, cup five class and then anything else is a bonus effectively uh, i'm sharing with uh, alex lambert 20 year old german racer who is a very experienced racer around the ring uh, he's only 20 but he's already done two years uh, racing uh, around here so i'm looking forward to learning as much as i can from him uh, and i think between us we're going to be a fairly formidable pairing and if you look back through the garage, you just see it's an absolute BMW porn fest. 235i, 235i, times two M6 GT3 cars, and then the M4 GT4 car at the back. So, uh, yeah, if there's anything BMW, uh, these guys are going to uh, have everything and the knowledge to hand. So, yeah. I'm all signed on now. Um, Walking North has been very useful for that. Walking us through the whole process of signing on. Um, we're just going to have a team briefing in a little bit and then in a couple of hours we'll be out on the track uh, for testing on the Friday. Uh, we've got two hours of practice tonight and then straight to qualifying tomorrow morning and then a four hour, late, a four hour race later on. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go kit, get kitted up and then uh, we'll talk about the car and then take you for a quick lap around the, the circuit this afternoon. So uh, yeah, let's go catch up then. So here we are in the M235R walking horse car. Uh, we're just about to go out for practice now. Uh, we've even got the main man Frank Stippler next to us here in the Audi R8. Um, so yeah, the idea is just to get used to the car, get a bit of heat in the tyres, set a couple of reference laps then Alex is going to jump out and uh, set some proper laps for me to try and chase uh, and then I've got the rest of the session after that. It's going to be a busy one, lots of taxi laps going on. Uh, you have the opportunity to ride shotgun, which you can see the passenger seat here, but um, we don't actually have any guests, which is uh, quite nice for us. We can just get on and uh, test properly. So, yeah, sun's even starting to come out, so hopefully a bit more uh, heat in the track will promote a wicked session. So, yeah, buzzing. Can't wait to get out there. It's been a long, drawn-out day of admin and waiting and briefings, so just want to get out there and do it. So, let's go.
Friday night. Um, obviously we had practice today at Nordschleife, which didn't go to plan, unfortunately. So I feel very disappointed in myself, very disappointed for the team. Um, I think, if anything, I got off very lucky. Uh, I could have had a much, much bigger accident. I could have damaged the car much, much more. But luckily, looking looking at it, it's all just superficial bodywork damage. So the car is still good to go. Alex went out, tried the car two or three laps afterwards, pushed on hard. So he's happy with the, the structural integrity of the car, the mechanical um, structure of the car. It looks like it's just bodywork. So I think I've got away lucky, uh, which is something not very many people can say from the Norge life. Still, I um, made a mistake, which I have to own up to. But tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is race day. I will learn from my mistakes and we will uh, press on for tomorrow. So, yeah, looking forward to that. So, good morning from uh, race day, baby, here at the Nürburgring VLM3. Today is a new day. It's very, very cold this morning. Uh, I'm first out for qualifying. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to getting there in the race and... Um, yeah, four hours around the ring and two three five five two three five I. Let's hit it. Spoke a little bit premature, the track cleared up, therefore a few cars went faster than us, so we're at starting P6 in class. Uh, I'll be starting, do a double stint at the beginning, two times six laps, and then Alex will be in for the final half of the race to uh, complete it. So I think we'll have a competitive pairing, so I'm um, looking forward to seeing where we end up. So just about to go jump in the car now and uh, start, the, start the whole starting up procedure. Race starts at 12, but I'll be in the car from 10 past 11 all the way into about two o'clock so it's going to be a long stint in there but I'm hydrated fed and watered and uh, good to go let's go see you on the other side working their way onto the hats and back as at this point group three has reached the end of its green flag lap a very very busy track now as 19 BMW M235i's are about to get underway although there are one or two cars that have crept into that field including the Renault Megane as well so that's qualified better than some of the 235i's and we'll keep you in tune with the battle for the BMW 325's as well the E90's so BMW's now zigzagging through Tiergarten through the narrow connecting road and back onto the Grand Prix Strecker itself and it's very very even indeed in fact three abreast further back too but the front two cars that qualified in group three are nip and tuck absolutely nothing between them one of the Pixum team adrenaline cars trying to get underneath both of them as well and he might just do it it's four abreast into the first corner tippy toe stuff this is a four hour race remember everybody we don't want to see cars spinning at the first corner somehow they've managed to get through despite going briefly four abreast and that looks suspiciously like the Mikael Shry car so that has got away first but there's uh, some drama in the background there with maybe a bit of wheel spinning from uh, a couple of cars through the middle section of the Mercedes arena they were delayed too and Yes, varying speeds there, but Mikael Schrei, I reckon, yes, it is. just confirm, yes, it is car number one, defending champion. That leads the way then and managed to get there, having qualified that car on the front row. The Pixum team adrenaline machine slotting into third position. 
I think there was second and third, actually, Johnny, the uh, the two Pixum Team Adrenaline Motorsport cars. So, uh, yeah, good start from them. And um, just noting at the back of the Group 2 field, a couple of the cars... Um, getting uh, um, going into the pits at the end of their formation lap so uh, we uh, um, we'll see whether or not they are able to resume of course a lot of people uh, doing this kind of racing uh, yes they want to win but uh, a lot of it is for the experience and uh, with points available they just want cars involved in the v4 class both of them okay and they're both bmws uh, the 485 is the pixum team adrenaline uh, car and the 491 is a manhalla racing car got a feeling actually that certainly it was one of the manhalla cars that uh, finished second in last year's championship but it wasn't that car it was the 492 car that marcel manhalla himself was driving last year that finished so well in the overall championship Lovely tweet from Adam Crossfire. Thank you for this, Adam. Tweeting to at RSL underscore. So by the end of this one, I reckon we'll be sub 20 cars on the lead lap. So nothing between Ferrari 22 and BMW number 35, although we're getting word now that there's another problem for the 11 car. I think that's it's the same problem I was talking about. Yeah, uh, the same Johnny, electrical the, uh, issue, perhaps. The, the number 11 car in the pits with a hydraulic problem. Um, that was the car that, uh, as I say, hadn't come out yet, ah. losing places, still in the pits. So it's uh, possibly a repeat of what happened on the opening, on the formation lap for the number 11 car. But uh, I don't think Leon Advice has actually uh, driven that car. Uh, Christian Menzel having started it, then bringing it in for a pit stop and uh, a problem then for the Ferrari. Another damaged BMW. This time it's the 681 M235i Racing Cup car of Pittard and Lambert. And showing scars again of maybe some contact with a barrier. It looks like a very Fozzie Bear shaped BMW, if you know what I mean, because Fozzie Bear came in with damage to the front left corner, and 681 is actually choosing to continue in the race despite the damage. And 681 now has bearing down upon it the blue and black BMW. <laughs> moments which put me out of the train and lost five or six positions um, on the way uh, first two corners pretty much and then after then I just set about sort of picking it back off really the pace was there which I was really really pleased with throughout both stints uh, just nailed the traffic nailed everyone in, in our class as well brought us up to P4 pitted from P4 um, after the two stints gave, gave it over to Alex and uh, yeah we're running P5 at the moment so looking good um, bring you an update in a second. Alex should be in for uh, fuel, splash and dash, and then he's good for the end of the race. Uh, we'll see him very briefly in a second. Uh, 31, 5, 22, your top three in the SP9 category. But remember, uh, there are different uh, versions of SP9. And that wraps up another VLN, another epic car park behind. Um, great result, uh, ended up the race P5. Alex just bought the car home, we were still struggling with a couple of gearbox gremlins. Uh, and then by the sounds of things, he was a little bit down on power as well. So um, yeah, main thing is that we finished and an absolute um, luxury was that we finished well. So um, yeah, all permit A qualified and um, ready to be back here in a couple of weeks so uh, yeah make sure you stay tuned for that next video because uh, it's going to be very very exciting so huge thanks to walk and horse motorsport huge thank you to everyone behind the scenes making it happen um, i'm just glad i can repay everyone's faith with uh, a half decent result so um, we shall uh, catch up in two weeks time back here at the ring our feed is in from the